KGW Road to South Korea coverage is brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Strong work ethic. You know, for cross country skiing, it's not the most popular sport, and there's a lot of time that you're spent spending out in the mountains, you know, alone, putting in the hours or out on the pavements, you know, smashing your poles into the ground, and nobody's watching. But in order to be the best, you have to, you know, we're training somewhere between 700 and 1,000 hours each year. Eric and Sadie Bjornsson have been working non stop since May 1st skiing, running, weight training, and skiing some more. The siblings started skiing at the age of three. Their older sister and parents skied, so it was just something they did as a family. Everything was sort of a competition, so naturally we evolved into these athletes that were showing up to races as, as a family. It was always just this fun family adventure. After a successful youth career, the Liberty Bell High grads headed north to Alaska. First Sadie, then Eric, spent a year at the University of Alaska before enrolling at Alaska Pacific University, where there's a strong Nordic ski program. Under the watchful eye of two-time Olympic coach Eric Flora, the Bjornsons would begin to flourish on the international stage. We operate this team like a family. We're together uh, countless hours during the year. So to have a brother and sister where you know, they bring a, a good, good energy to the group is, is absolutely, it's, it's been fantastic. Sometimes you need to you need to let out some of that negative energy, and it's you don't you never want to do that with your teammates or um, or your coaches or whoever it is. And so to have family around to sort of you know release that and then talk through it and then find a way to jet out of there, it's it's really unique. And I often feel like it's it's one of the secrets to success for me. From the trails to the gym to the mountain tops. Eric and Sadie are motivated to make a second trip to the Olympics. We don't ever really stop, and so you give up a lot, but the reward is amazing. If you want to keep tabs on the Bjornsons' journey to South Korea, check out Sadie's blog at sadiebjornson.com. I was just looking at it earlier. She posts all kind of cool, like, behind the scenes of competition. And, of course, the Olympics start airing on KGW on February 8th right here.